Hey, Joe, first on, on the loss, you know, when you look at the box score and the way the game unfolded, what stands out, you know, in that fourth quarter that made the difference? Um, I mean, not so much just like everything on the fourth quarter, but I think just overall the consistent theme to the game was the second chance opportunities. You know, when you look up and the shot margin is, is as big as it was, I mean, it's really hard to beat good teams. And that's kind of been, you know, it's a problem a lot of last year and it's been a problem a lot of this year so far. I know it's maybe tough to talk about in a loss, but it was a nice ovation for you as you set the franchise record, most three-point field goals made. That accomplishment, doing that here, what does that mean to you? Um, I mean, it means a lot. You know, you don't go into, um, you know, you, wherever you're at. I guess for me, um, you know, coming to Brooklyn is not something that I necessarily thought was going to happen at any point in time. Um, you know, I'm fortunate um, for a lot of things. One, to be here playing long enough. Um, unfortunately, the game has shifted in a way where, you know, we take a lot of threes. But then also, like, individual accolades, you know, this is a team game. Like, it doesn't happen if it's not for a lot of other great players and coaches and personnel around you. So, you know, individual accolades and, and all that are, are great, but they don't happen if it's not for everybody else around you. Joe, kind of following up on that, like you said, when you came here five years ago, career was in the balance a little bit. Um, what's the journey been like for you? Just you know, getting more established and, and kind of proving yourself along the way? Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm lucky to come to a spot where uh, I was afforded opportunity as a young player, kind of grow through a lot of different mistakes. And then, you know, you just kind of grow, figure it out along the way. But like I said earlier, too, it's, you know, it's more about the people that are around you that end up making the individual player. So, you know, coming here and having a lot of great coaches and teammates, you know, that's what fosters great individual talent. Joe, you guys got out rebounded 62 to 21, and then the Heat had 17 offensive rebounds to you guys as four. Yep. Um, when when you don't necessarily profile as a strong offensive or just a strong rebounding team in general, what do you do to kind of make up that gap between you guys and other teams that are strong rebounding teams? I mean, we just have to rebound better. I mean, it's pretty like plain and simple. The the differential just can't be that big. I mean, even if you get out rebounded, it can't be. Um, by a substantial margin. Otherwise, it's really hard to win. Um, and I thought our defense was actually pretty good tonight um, when we played uh, very physical, disciplined, um, got a lot of good stops when we needed to. But you, have to, you can't allow second chance opportunities. And, you know, second chance opportunities and turnovers offensively, you, a lot of times they lead to high possession or high offensive possessions, high percentage off offensive possessions. So. You know, you can't, you just can't allow those things to really just compound and build up on you. So tonight, you know, it wasn't necessarily, we did have a lot of turnovers, but we gave up a lot of second chance opportunities. And so you just got to try and nip uh, or just cut back as much as, uh, from those as you can.